check it out. Check it out now. The story of Sosavelli. Okay. Now Sosavelli is a guy who is a Chirac Baphomet. I call him Sosavelli, but he's known as Chief Keith to a lot of other people. Now his story is quite bittersweet. You know why? Because the trajectory that his career was on when he just came out the gate had a bunch of hit songs. Love Sosa, hate being sober. A bunch of other songs dominate the mixtape circuit. People said, yo, with the energy he kind of got. He could be the next 50 Cent, potentially. However, we saw talent wasted away, opportunities wasted away, as Chief Keef, who was signed to Interscope, basically missed interviews, basically missed performances, basically missed video shoots, and didn't give a fuck about the rap industry. Now, when you don't give a fuck about the rap industry, they're not going to give too much of a fuck about you for too long. So, eventually, he saw his label people and the people who brought him in, and I'm talking about, of course, Larry Jackson and Jimmy Iovine. Those were the head people up at uh, Interscope. Actually, Larry Jackson was an a r and then Jimmy Iovine, he ran a label, okay? So, basically... They went to Apple Music, and Chief Keef started looking around like, oh, shit, the people who brought me here, who believed in me, they're not here. So Chief Keef got off that label. Chief Keef subsequently is just uncooperative. Like, he couldn't even cooperate with, like, his other label owner. And we all know Chief Keef has been fucking up over the years in terms of, like, warrants and all that. He can't go back to Chicago. However... I am very happy to say that Chief Keef is getting a second chance with the people who really took a chance on him and signed him when he was 16. It's five years later. He's 21. Now, Larry Jackson and Jimmy Ivey, they've signed off on a documentary on Chief Sosa. Okay, it's going to be on Apple Music. And by the way, which is so ironic, Apple Music approached Chief Keef years ago trying to sign him as an artist to, I guess they were trying to have a label. Chief Keef declined it, but now Chief Keef looks like he's seen a light. There's going to be a documentary called The Life, or actually The Story of Sosa, the movie. It will cover a large portion of his life, including his incarceration as a teen. Rumors of his death, apparently the cops were busting at him, you know what I mean? No lacking, right? And it's going to cover his hometown, of course, his loved ones, and where he grew up. Now, I think this is a dope move for Chief Keef. Chief Keef, even though we look at him and say this guy is still... One of the most influential people in rap. And don't laugh when I'm saying this because it's true. There's a lot of his kids running around here. You got to say, man, if only Keith had done this, where would he have been? Now, this documentary is going to show us a lot of things that was going on in his life. Again, he was 16, seeing people die left and right. He, of course, didn't understand the rap industry. And now he gets to reflect on it and also collaborate with Apple Music to make this documentary. I can't wait. I think this should be dope. And good thing that Larry Jackson actually linked back up with uh, Chief Keith. This is going to be a good thing, I believe, for the fans of Chief Keith. Get in comments, subscribe, guys, like, and subscribe. Are you guys expecting and anticipating a documentary called The Story of Sosa? I am. Get in the comments, Blue Jacket Demix. I'm up.